Hello survivors! In today's video we are playing the Pyromancer. We are going to be doing a sub 6 run on Curse Intensity 48. The skills we are going to be using in this run are going to be the Dark Swarm, Gathering Shadows, Arcane Power, Bloodlust, Lightning Bolt, as well as I can't see frenzied bunnies. So let's get straight into it. Our runes for this, we do need 10 out of 10 runes. We are going to be running multicast mastery, uh, critical mastery, purity, weapon expert, and adrenaline. Let's get straight into it and see how we do it. Now there is a tip and a trick uh, to this as well. Pyromancer, because of his skills, he does land up with the, the shield, the fire shield as well, which is really, really cool. But there is a tip and trick in the very beginning to get your cast frequency really, really insane. And that is to spend a life in the very, very beginning. So we are going to die to the, uh, the void presence. Oh my gosh, my brain. And that's going to give us a lot of life lost very, very quickly. And that's going to give us the cast frequency that we need for the missing HP in the very beginning of the game to make it that much quicker. So if you are doing this and you want to try and get a sub six minute run, this is the strategy that we use. And then we don't want to move too much. You want to try and sit in the corner as much as possible. So what we do is we just sit there. Uh, you can already go and spend your points. Uh, maybe not having auto, I mean, having auto level up might be a better thing as well, just so you don't waste time. Uh, with skill point levels like I do it can also help if your first level up is a magnetic then obviously having those extra uh, skills uh, all those extra skill points uh, with the auto level up will be a lot better for us now we're not going to use our draconic flame just yet and also we are going to try and focus on HP that's going to make us a lot stronger uh, we're going to banish Le Oh, I should have actually taken Leviathan there. I'm being a bit silly. Uh, we don't have any of the bonuses like Mart and that. So we are going to go and grab ourselves Mart uh, because of not having Arcane Power and Bloodlust. I'm going to go and intentionally take damage over here just so we can get our cast frequency even higher. And we are not getting the skills we need today. So this is really, really bad. We're going to take a Chain Lightning. Very strong skill in the early game. So we'll just grab it for the meantime. We do need the dazed as well. So as a supplement for the lightning bolt, that is going to help us a lot. But this is a very good uh, example of how things don't always go as you want them to. But uh, at the same time, it's also a good example of what you can do in case these things don't happen for you. And then again, we just got to stack the HP. Crit chance is also going to be something good to uh, stack. And we also need to just try and keep our health as low as possible without dying again. So <clears throat> these are a couple of the things that we need to do. Also area of effect for the bunnies, but we do have a lot out at a single time. So we aren't too worried, but there's our laugh. We do have to kind of worry about it now. It is quite low, but uh, it keeps going up and up anyway. So we should be good over here. We are going to lock both of these because we do want the legendary upgrade. That's going to help. There is the arcane power. And now we're just looking for our lightning bolt. But I think we should be okay for now with the uh, chain lightning. As long as we use something that's involving the uh, days, I think we'll be in a good spot. So it's not the best. I know lightning bolt deals a whack ton of damage compared to this one. But I think we'll be in a good spot regardless. Alrighty, we can actually grab that over there. Damage empowering, cost frequency, nothing over there. Damage from bunnies, area of effect, cost frequency, and then multi cost over there. You can see I'm going quite quickly. Look, the amount of time you spend in upgrades doesn't affect the time that you spend in the run. I mean, real life time, yes, it does, but in the time in the game, it doesn't. It does pause the time, as you can see. So that is why sometimes you can take like five minutes in a run. But it actually took you like 10 minutes in real life because you are spending a lot of time in the upgrade menu. So just something to think about that you may have never realized. Alrighty. So this build is actually a uh, courtesy of Tungmouth again. Um, I did speak to them on the Discord and I was like, why don't you create uh, videos for your builds? 
and she said I make the videos already so uh, I should do it instead so here we are and this belongs part of her uh, you know survival guard uh, on the discord server it is a fantastic guard you can join soulstone survivors discord uh, if you aren't or don't have that uh, access to that guard it will be in the featured uh, channel but I will actually add her guard to my channel so that you guys can see uh, you know how it goes uh, and we'll add it to my discord I will just obviously get permission from her first to do that before we do so if you don't see it there it's because we haven't received permission from her uh, yet um, and you know I think it will be very very helpful if we can add these kinds of things to my discord so if there's anything else that we we need to add on to that you guys can let me know down in the comment section but I think that is quite a useful link uh, for us to have on everyone's discord uh, including mine and uh, we'll go from there I think I am running around a bit too much over here but uh, we should be okay I guess and we're actually going to keep our ascension for the next set of bosses you can already see how quickly we are destroying these ones so we're not going to worry about that just yet I think it is more bunnies doing more of the work than anything else and again over here we just need to stay away from the avoid presence we're not really worried about anything else and as long as we stay in the corner we should be a-okay there is our lightning bolt that is fantastic and we can now go and skip all of that we did finally get it but i think we may have got it a little bit too late it's not the end of the world uh, i think it's still going to do the job that it needs to do but i think if you get lightning bolt very very quickly you can actually see it might sometimes do most of the hard work in the run all right to pick that up you can see we are completely annihilating bosses we aren't even worried about where we're standing because again if we take damage that's actually a bonus for us uh, if anything i haven't been taking damage and i should be taking it so uh, we need to try and take more damage so we have even more cast frequency uh, we need to stop healing here but because we still do so much healing because it is only uh, cycle one or cycle zero sorry we still get a lot of healing going over there and we can go and get more life more movement speed a bit of armor doesn't hurt i should have taken the life over there but we never that's silly but i think we're in a good spot and you can see we're on 5 14 15 this is going to be a very close one it's actually not going to be close at all the bosses are about to spawn and we're about to murder all of them in you know good time so there's one down already there's the next one down and done and dusted five minutes and 33 seconds six under six minutes just like we promised and uh, let's see i'm sure it's bunnies that did the most amount of damage but uh, there we go gathering shadows doing quite a lot of damage and this is actually the best time i have done uh, so far with this character and this weapon so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please remember to like comment and subscribe for more videos like this in the future and always remember Keep safe survivors. Until next time, cheers.